Hello everybody, my name is LittlePad, and welcome to a game which I haven't quite started yet because Steam is taking a little while to- there we go. Let's hit play on that. And welcome to a game called Risk of Rain. Now, Risk of Rain is like a, a 2D platformer, bullet hell, um, pixel game. That's around about what it is. Uh, it still hasn't started yet. Give it a second. Uh, and basically, um, y you have to defeat waves of enemies, you have to f get upgrades, then you go, you fight a boss, uh, you escape through a teleporter and you get to the next level. And if you die, you have to restart. Just entirely. Um, I've only ever gotten to the second level, and I've spent seven hours in game, in total. So, you know, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> but anyway, here we are now. Um, Hopu Games, I guess. UES Contact Light, Delivery and Transportation Service. Cargo Hold 1. Okay, so I guess that this is like a, um... Uh, some kind of cargo ship. There's a guy with a sword. Oh, he's just stabbed the floor. Oh my god. And everything's free. All the monsters are free. Oh, and everything's falling to Earth. Or whatever place, whatever planet we're on. Including a dropship, which I'm assuming I'm in. Right? Probably. Ah, here we are. So, you have a single player co-op, local co-op, and online co-op. Now, unfortunately, Jaff's, uh, Jaff's, Joff's laptop is still uh, not functioning, which is why I'm doing this. This is a solo game. That I'm pretty sure, you know, it'll be easy to play. I can record with OBS. It should be fine. So we're going to start single player, uh, because I don't have anyone to play this with. Is it not? Oh, what button is it? Oh, it's the... <laughs> right, it's the mouse. Now, I can't play as anyone else because I haven't unlocked them yet. Um... You can get difficulty, you can get drizzle, it says reduce difficulty for players new to the game, weeping and gnashing is replaced by laughter and tickles. Uh, rainstorm, the way the game is meant to be played, test your abilities and skills against formidable foes. Oh yeah, it does save, sorry, um, but it saves at the end of each level I think, which is quite difficult. For hardcore players, every bend induce, introduces pain and horrors of the planet, you will die. So let's just stick it on rains, uh, Rainstorm. I feel like that's good. Oh! Only one type of enemy spawns per stage. That's kind of useful. I had no idea I had that. Okay, well let's put that on. And let's do play. Now this is actually controlled with the arrow keys uh, Z, X, C, V, and jump. Oh, okay. Okay, so we've got these guys. Uh, okay, these guys are kind of simple. So as you can see from when I pressed X, you know, it fires or it rolls depending on what ability you used. And then it will regen and get back to full. And I get money for killing enemies. So the idea is that you use that money to upgrade and survive. And in the top right, you'll see the bar will slowly begin to go up. And as the bar goes up, then, um, oh, perhaps each stage is each part of that bar. Uh, I'm, oops, I might have screwed myself over for when it's uh, a more difficult <laughs> stage. There we go. So we've just killed all of them. As you can see, everything does actually levitate to you, which is really useful. So you can just kill enemies that are like ages away, like that. And the gold will eventually get to you. Now the good thing about these guys is you can just keep spamming Zed, and they can never get close to you. Which is, you know, always fun. So, we'll- ooh, hee hee, stay back. Ah, oh, that's even better. So now when I shoot them, they are slowed down. 
So you see now I've got less money because I just spent it on that upgrade. So let's go and jump over here, do a roll, turn around and shoot them. Yeah, they don't stand a chance now. So we can just kill them like that. That's really easy. So yeah, basically I'm just going to try and get as far as I can. Um, and then split this up because we are running out of episodes very quickly. And I don't want to stop the every other day upload schedule. Because, you know, it's hard enough to, uh, to make it on YouTube. Let alone if we stop uploading. That would be very much not good. While we're on the topic of that, um... Oh crumbs, that's not what I wanted to do. I forgot that it's C to roll. Um, as an explanation just of why uh, things have been a bit weird recently. Um, see, we did everything with like Joff's laptop. Okay, well we didn't do everything with Joss' laptop, but it was a fundamental part of everything. Luckily, uh, all of the editing etc I did, and so I've still got my computer, therefore I can still edit. Let's purchase that. Uh, okay, that's pretty decent. Uh, attack faster at lower health, okay. There we go, kill all of them. So obviously if Joff doesn't have his laptop, then we can't record uh, as easily. Now this doesn't mean <laughs> that like it's gone forever. You know, the videos aren't just gone. It's not becoming a solo channel. He will be back uh, pretty soon, actually. Oh, killing an enemy permanently increases your health. That's a good one. That is a very good one, especially when I've got this artifact on. Oh, we have different versions of this enemy. Okay. I can deal with that. Sweet, okay, and I even heal while I'm in this banner. I forget what button it is to use, but apparently I've pressed it, so... <laughs> Let's hope that that goes well. Hmm. There we go. Clear those out. Okay, so we've got a lot of cash, but we don't actually have many upgrades and things to spend it on. Also, there's no full damage, if I recall. What's this? Activate a teleporter. Okay, yeah, so that summons the boss. I don't want to do that just yet. When the boss is summoned... Okay, well, uh, it doesn't quite summon the boss. It will make it so that everything you kill will stay dead. Uh, you'll no longer have monsters spawn. Which sounds great, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely, I want that. But, the moment that happens, um, you then kill everything and then the boss spawns. I think. Or actually, no. It's that the boss spawns and things have a limited amount of health. Or, you know, a limited amount of being. I could totally just sit here, actually. Just like this. Heal up, keep shooting, and just get a crap ton of health. So yeah, I decided, you might be wondering, like, why, why would I play this game? when there's so many others, so many more interesting games that I could totally do a solo thing on. And the reason for that is that this game is simple. <laughs> it's very simple. And with recent audio issues while editing, I've decided that I don't really want to use Sony Vegas for a little bit. Not Sony Vegas, sorry. Shadowplay. Um, although that being said, I have switched to Adobe Premiere as well, so I guess not using Sony Vegas is also something. But um, OBS uses a lot of my CPU, and so games that are very CPU heavy, things like Fallout or Skyrim, things like that, um, even things like Gary's Mod, etc., they lag massively, or they screw up the recording. So I have to choose between the game running badly or the recording running badly, 
which is not a decision you want to be making when you're trying to record a game for entertainment purposes. If it's to show someone like a glitch or something, it's all well and good because it's not exactly like performance is the main thing there. But when it's for entertainment, you really don't want to just accidentally annoy everybody. So you kind of want to have that stuff all sorted out. But until I can upgrade my computer, I'm afraid that's just how it's going to be. Man, we are getting powerful. We really are. I don't know what we started on, but we're getting pretty powerful. I could probably activate the teleporter. I don't know if there's anywhere else I can purchase things on in this level. I seem to recall this level being almost completely devoid of all um, <laughs> life, really. There's just no one really to fight. Um, also, it doesn't change species with each stage of that bar. It's literally each level, which is good news for me. Because that means that I only have to ever worry about one type of attack. Which is pretty decent, all things considered. Because that's the way you die in this game. You know, you're, you're trying to sort something out, you're trying to get something going, and then you'll get attacked by something you just didn't expect whatsoever. And that thing will just completely wreck you. No, not that one. Which is something, you know, you, you just don't want. You don't want that to happen, because that's not good. So that is, that's like the main cause of death, is just when you completely just do not expect that at all. I don't like these green ones where they don't take knockback, because that is kind of my entire tactic, is just keep knocking them back and they'll never get close. But I can't do that with those ones. So I can do it with these guys. Oh, that being said, actually, you can never knock them back with regular bullets. Oh, you can't lock, knock back the special ones with regular bullets. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Okay, I think now that we're at 430, we should probably summon the boss. Because it would be good to get to a place where there's actual loot. Um, I'm really hoping as well, because there are several different bosses. There's one which is like a worm. I'm really hoping it's that one, because I know exactly how to defeat that one. A lot of the others, like there's one that's a giant jellyfish, and I, I cannot remember for the life of me how you defeat that one. So I really hope it isn't that one. God, there are a lot of these. Right, I'm just going to go hit the teleporter script. So yeah, now it's telling me to stay alive. There's going to be a lot more things spawning. There's going to be a lot more enemies. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Bloody hell. Oh my god. This is absurd. Jesus. Haha, you fools. You've lined up perfectly for me. Oh, I'm going to be rolling in health. Okay, this is kind of an exploit. <laughs> well, if you're out there and you want to know how to defeat this game, here you go. Wow. <laughs> this is like god mode. The sound, for some reason, has gone down. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh my god, look at my health! I'm just going to be a total badass by the time this boss comes. I keep leveling up and putting down banners. This is incredible. Okay, wow. I've never had a run this good. Okay, so now I have to kill everybody remaining. Wow. 600 health, 1,000 gold. <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, 
Now, now we can just relax and kill the rest of them. And then I'm pretty sure the boss comes. Which shouldn't be a problem for us. There we go, let's quickly head down here. Line them all up far better. Oh, yes. Haha. <laughs> Did I ever explain why I was playing this? I mean, I said about how things use a lot of your CPU, but I don't remember if I actually said that this doesn't. <laughs> um, obviously, things are a little bit frame ratey on my preview because this is full screen. I completely forgot to change that, but. You know, I, I don't really want to risk changing it now, just in case. Because this is going really well. Cool, and I'm pretty sure I know where the last four are. We've reached 650 health, yes, indeed. It does actually point you in the direction, which is really useful. Oh, and they're all regular as well. Oh, this should be easy. Oh, um, hmm, okay, okay. Um... I can get up there, right? Right? Can I? Yes. Yes, I can. Cool. That would have been really horrible if after all of that I couldn't actually get to the enemies. Oh, yes, the jumping puzzle. I forgot about this. I can get one last upgrade. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I actually did take full damage. Okay, so there is full damage. That's good to know. Luckily, I've got my little drone friend who uh, who heals me up. Come on. Yes. Oh, barbed wire. Sick. Okay. Well, yeah, we can kill these guys now. There we go. Oh, <laughs> there is no boss. Okay, that's lucky. There's usually a boss for the um, for the first one. Okay, great. Well, we're really kitted out, so let's go to the next one. Oh. It just took all my money. Wow, okay. Uh, sure. Oh, it's the robots. Okay. These guys are annoying, but they're slow and close range. So in theory, I can just stand on here. And then I'll be safe. See, this wouldn't usually work because you'd have other enemies that would come and attack you. But for this, it's fine. Although, with that being said, it's going to be a really difficult to get to any of the upgrades. Because there's always going to be an enemy. Because these things spawn really quickly. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be able to get through this. Uh, okay. Okay, this shouldn't... Yeah, this shouldn't be ridiculous. This is very similar in a way to, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of The Binding of Isaac, but it's very similar to that in the fact of, you know, you get upgrades, you use these upgrades to kill enemies, which gets you gold, which you then use to buy more upgrades. Oh. That, that one good, that one's, <laughs> that one good. This one, I remember, that one's pretty good. Rapidly heal, yes. That one is very good. Oh, this is not good, though. Can I... No. Okay, that's bad. Eh. Tempted to just activate the teleporter. No, okay. Oh, cool, container. I have no idea. I remember this one's good. But I don't remember... If the other ones are as well, I seem to remember it's like it's like gather gold over time. Ow. Which on the one hand is 
good if you want gold, but on the other hand is kind of awful for literally just trying to deal damage. Can I? I can get hurt there. Okay. This is something I was worried about when I realised it was the robots. Just the fact that this is going to be really difficult for uh, for kind of surviving uh, while you're getting to the boxes. Something quite interesting is that you may have noticed that when I play video games and when indeed a lot of people play video games, they often say um <laughs> to buy for t to stall for time. Um, and even then, you see. But the thing... I've, where was I going with that? Why is it so hard to talk while you're playing a video game? I don't understand. Really strange. I was gonna... I had something I was gonna say about that. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Okay. This is kind of a grindy sort of game. Uh, when you get to this kind of level. <laughs> this kind of level, level two. Uh, it's it's a little bit of a grindy sort of game. So while I'm here, why don't I just talk about things going on? You know, make this kind of like a podcast. In fact, yeah, we'll make right this game. Uh, in future, it's going to be a a podcast, pretty much. Uh, sounds sounds like a good idea. You know, I just play the game and I just talk. I just talk to you guys about recent stuff in gaming, updates of the channel, things like that, you know? So, uh, coming up, coming soon, in fact, there's a lot of games. Like, good lord, there are so many games coming this year, it's crazy. Uh, around October, November, we've got just a crap ton of games. It's really ridiculous. I think the first one is... Black Ops 4? I think. I don't quite remember the dates exactly, but I think it's Black Ops 4, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Red Dead Redemption 2, and then Fallout 76. I think that's pretty much everything. <laughs> One of the- oh this looks scary as god.